Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hi GI TV, I'm Bobby Axman Hillbrand. I'm very happy to be back here again today because I get to tell you about something new. Namely, the APS UAR, which stands for Urban Assault Rifle. Now, this is a very unique looking gun, and this is actually the area where I'd normally tell you a little bit of history about the real steel counterpart of this gun, except there is no real steel counterpart. This has actually been designed first and foremost for Airsoft, um, and it's a very unique looking gun, so you're not gonna see a lot of these, or a lot of similar looking guns out on the field. Um, that said, uh, this gun is does have a polymer body. It weighs in around 2.5 kilograms, or for us Americans, five and a half pounds. Now, it has an incredibly ambidextrous design. We have two mag release buttons up here on the right and up here on the left. Same thing with the fire selector, one on the left and one on the right. But there's actually another mag release button all the way here at the back, which is actually uh, reminds me a lot of Tavor. So I, I don't wanna say it's Tavor style, but uh, it does have three mag release buttons, which is definitely pretty darn awesome. Now, it's got rails all along the, all along the bottom, the left and the right. Uh, well, that's the right, but uh, my favorite is the rail on the top because it is actually slightly raised over where the buttstock normally would be. Uh, so you're gonna have an easier time aiming through your optics uh, if you were using a face mask. I personally would probably put uh, you know, a riser and uh, an optic on there just so I was absolutely sure I could see through the optic. Uh, now, once, I, uh, once again, it is a very unique appearance, but they also didn't skip on features on this gun, which I really like is the fact that it has quick detach sling mounts on the left and right near the front and the left and right near the back. And you even get a quick detach sling mount right there with the gun. So that's pretty cool. Um, now this gun does have a compartment in the pistol grip for two 123A type batteries, which are used in a lot of different accessories for airsoft. So it'll be nice, you can carry it on the field with you. Um, it also does come with two 150 round high capacity magazines. There we go. There are a couple other features that I'd like to talk about, namely the fact that this is an urban assault rifle, but coming in the near future, according to APS, is going to be a longer barrel conversion kit, so you'll be able to change this gun into a UPR, which is an urban precision rifle, giving you a, a bit of a different look. Uh, now that said, this gun functions with, uh, as far as the brochure says, an 8.4 volt mini or 8.4 volt stick type battery that's going to be inserted in this compartment right here. Um, you actually press these two little plastic tabs right here, pull this front end out, and you're going to stick the battery right through here. So there's quite a bit of space uh, to test this gun. Uh, we actually used a 20, excuse me, a Tenergy 20C 7.4 volt 1000 milliamp battery, uh, 1000 milliamp lipo battery. Uh, now, as far as like internals on this gun goes, um, it does have a metal gearbox, and it's not just any metal gearbox, it's a metal V3 hybrid gearbox. It also has a uh, three, the, the inner barrel on this is about 385 millimeters long, but a cool feature about this is that it comes pre-installed with a 6.04 millimeter tight bore inner barrel. That's very good, it's gonna increase your accuracy over just a regular inner barrel, and honestly, on most of my guns, I install a tight bore inner barrel anyway, so that's cool, it already comes pre-installed. Uh, now this gun also has seven millimeter metal bushings, and it's incredibly easy to disassemble this gun. It's got three main body pins, one right there, one right there, one right there. Just press them out, you can take the gun apart. Uh, the brochure says if you know this gun well enough, you can disassemble this gun in less than 60 seconds. Based on the design, I would heartily agree with that. Uh, now this gun is non-blowback. They did that uh, to reduce the amount of battery consumption you're gonna deal with. It's probably gonna make it a lot easier to deal with in the long run as far as teching goes. Uh, I personally like blowback features, but as far as uh, this gun goes, being a CQB gun and being that there's a limited amount of battery space, I think it's a good feature to go with because you're gonna be able to play a lot longer since this gun is not blowback. Now, they put a lot of effort into the design process to make this very easy to use. And one other cool thing that they did is that in the box when you get this gun, you're gonna get an extra main spring. Now they did that so you can uh, play, play with this gun with CQB with the spring that's already in it, or you can uh, switch out the spring and use that for field play. Uh, the only downside is that when we tested it, we found out that it actually shoots around 360 to 370 FPS with the pre-installed spring and we changed it out for the field spring. It's firing around 400 to 410. So at least it gives you the option to change the spring or change the FPS uh, as you see fit, but if your field uh, limits you to 350 feet per second, you may have to buy a lower spring or put a bunch of rounds through this gun. Now, there is one feature uh, that I saved for the end here because I just want to show you how cool it was with a bit of bobberisms. Uh, it does have a functional bolt release. As you can see, you've got the bolt back and that's where you're gonna adjust the hop-up because it has an adjustable hop-up unit and it's actually a metal hop-up unit. But the bolt release is right here in the top. So if you wanna do one of the following actions, you're gonna look pretty cool. Yeah! 
That is pretty sweet. Uh, probably a bit absurd to do in the heat of battle, but you know, for me right now, feels just about right. So uh, this gun should be priced at around $200, and I believe the release date is estimated uh, for around February 24. So make sure to look out for this on our website. Uh, this is the APS UAR or Urban Assault Rifle. I'm Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand. This is GITV. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.